time I wanted to use a different approach. I wanted to build a voice controlled robot. For that, I used Google Assistant, Adafruit.io, and IFTTT platform. As always, the robot was programmed in Arduino IDE. Turn right 180 degrees. In this project, we'll show you how you can make a Wi-Fi enabled portable weather station using an ESP8266. The software, written by Daniel Eichhorn, uses the Wonderground API to pull weather data. It shows the date, time, current weather conditions, a four-day forecast, and even moon phases. The user interface features lovely typography and icons that make this a really nice and clean layout. The 2.4-inch TFT Feather Wing combined with the Adafruit Feather Huzzah ESP8266 make assembling this project incredibly easy. The two just snap together and there's no need to wire any connections. The onboard battery charger lets you easily connect the LiPo battery, making this project compact and portable. Everything fits nicely in our 3D printed enclosure. You can download the files and 3D print them out yourself or have a service like 3dhubs.com print them for you. The links are in the description. The mounting holes on the 2.4 inch TFT display snap into the standoffs on the cover of the enclosure. A 2000 milliamp LiPo battery fits nicely into the case and the two pieces snap fit together without having to use any additional hardware. You can of course mount the enclosure in all sorts of ways. I stuck a magnet onto the back and stuck it on my refrigerator. For a full list of parts and code, be sure to check out the full tutorial for this project. You can find the link in the description of this video. Hey, if you like this project, why not let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for more projects every week. Mini. So that is interfaced up with the ESP8266. And now it, by the way, it all runs off of a battery. And right now it's sleeping, just sitting here is pulling less than one microamp. And if we go and let's say that we open the door, this is a just a standard, normally closed style door switch. I'm going to open the door. You see the board woke up. Uh, it just took a picture and then now it's going to upload that picture to a server and then post the link to where that picture is in a Slack channel. So you can see the LED there is flashing because it has to upload 
the picture to the server one small packet at a time. So it can take a little while, especially depending on the resolution of the picture you're taking. Now, going over to Slack, <laughs> it's not the greatest picture in the world, but there we have it. So this is right here, the trig cam, and it's posting to a Slack channel. And I made a video.